everyone, thank you for clicking this video and welcome to a fun and flirty eye makeup tutorial. I'm starting off with the eye primer. I don't remember which one I used. I think it was either Motives, Urban Decay, or Lime Crime, but I'm just blending it in with my finger into my crease area. I clean my brows with a cream concealer, so I'm going under it with my foundation powder just so the textures will be the same once I apply my transition colors. First using Native from Motives Maven's Color Box. This is going to be my first transition color since it is very close to my skin tone and I'm just buffing it in right underneath my brow bone not quite in the crease but blending it towards my crease area so that I can um, create another transition color with Bordeaux from the same palette this one I'm placing directly in my crease starting in the outer V and concentrating on that part before dragging it into um, the center crease of my eye blending it into native and this brush I believe is max 217 brush and the other one was a blending brush from Morphe but you just want to take as much time as you need to make sure the colors are blended into each other as much as possible for a gradient look um, by switching back and forth between the brushes next for my lid color I used sunny by ColourPop cosmetics um, I used another one of these shadows recently I love them as I said before they are best applied with your finger but as you can see my nails are really long but I still made it work um, applying a couple layers on my lid and since I couldn't get in that inner corner I just um, concentrated on um, what I could reach with my finger and um, for the innermost part of my lid, I had to go in with a smaller brush. Um, this is like a detailing brush by Morphe. And I just placed the product that I couldn't reach into that area there. Patting it on gently. Um, and once I got this lid color completely on my lid, I closed the jar up tight so it don't dry. And I went back into my crease with those blending brush to make sure my transitions were smooth. Now you can always skip the glitter portion if you're not a glitter fan, but I loved the pairing of this Peach Fizz Glitter by Eye Candy with this ColourPop Sunny's Color. I used um, Eye Candy's Liquid Sugar and their small little liner brush to apply it, placing it in um, just all over my lid and um, blending out the little chunky parts by using the tip of the brush or um, turning the brush to the side to um, make sure that the coverage was even with the glitter which is you know takes some practicing but um, I just tried to make sure that the glitter was consistent throughout my lid um, next I use this very very small liner brush by BH cosmetics to apply the glitter to my lash line I use this small brush because I didn't want the glitter really heavy on my lash line so I took very small um, amounts of the glitter at a time and dragged it across my um, lash line and I didn't apply any liner to my waterline but I did still create my wingtip liner with more of the little black dress as usual with a uh, max 210 liner brush um, I flipped my wingtip up a little higher than normal and um, filled that in as I always do you can always apply the liner before the glitter because it is a little harder to get the line straight going over some of the glitter particles but I just try to make sure I don't go too far down with the glitter so that I only have to do the liner once instead of twice if I get glitter fallout doing it before I add the glitter but it's all about preference this is just how I do it. Now I'm just cleaning off my lashes a bit with my finger before applying my falsies. Um, I got rid of some of the glitter fallout. There wasn't much, but just a little um, max mineralized skin finish over my highlighted areas. Then I applied House of Lashes Siren Lashes, probably in my top five favorite falsies. I love these lashes um, with their House of Lashes Lash Glue. Using tweezers just to apply them first, lowering them in the center most part of my lid and then pressing the lash band into my skin as close as possible to the hairline with the tweezers and pinching my real lashes with the false lashes. Um, that's the best way I know how to do it. I use my fingers sometimes but you know, tweezers are easier. 
<laughs> nice and fluttery. <laughs> um, now I'm using Maybelline's Great Lash Black is Black Mascara just to blend my real lashes into my falsies and applying a thin layer at the bottom. This is probably one of the first mascaras I ever bought and still one of my favorites even when I don't wear falsies, which is rare, but this is what I generally use without and with. Um, now for my cheeks, I'm using Moto's So Peachy on my highlighted area of my cheeks. This is Morphe's Contour Brush. It is very, very, very fluffy, not dense at all. And that's what I like to use when I apply um, a highlighter over my highlighted area because I don't like it to come on too harsh. Just really nice and soft for a very subtle glow. And um, underneath that, I'm using MAC's Amber and Rose, still my favorite MAC blush. And I'm applying that to the apples of my cheek and blending it into the highlighted area. I think this video is filled with my favorites because this is one of my top five favorite nude glosses. It's by Heidi D Cosmetics. It's called Detroit Diva. And it's my it was my first option for this look, but I, as you can see, tried two different lips. This one was my neutral lip, and um, I love this gloss. Very, very tad amount of shimmer and very neutral everyday type of gloss. Or you can go with something bolder. I wiped that off and then applied a very, very vibrant look, prepping my lips with a little powder and used NYX Orange Liner with Max Lady Danger. I've worn this pair in another video. Still a lip combination that I have to get used to every time I apply it because it is so, so bright, like hella bright. But, um, it still looks well with certain looks, so since my eyes have a hint of orange in them, I went with this very fiery, orangish red lipstick by MAC, and um, I thought it looked nice either way, so it just depends on if you are a natural gal or a bold gal. I'm a bold gal, but uh, I like both looks, so I cleaned around my lips with MAC's 195 brush and a little bit of foundation, and then, whoa, yeah pretty bold but uh, I think it went well with the eyes or and all but you know I liked it this was the second option here they are side by side natural versus bold pick and choose which one you like and go with that one um, but yeah after I finished I just applied my setting spray and um, let that dry and the look was complete voila I hope you liked this tutorial, boat lip versus natural with a little orange glitz. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and check out makeup reviews and swatches on my blog, MissEllery.com, and leave your suggestions for more videos in the future in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Love ya. Mwah, mwah.